how few outside Wales had heard of Aberfan until a week ago. Not till the slurry heap buried the happiness of this village did its name become known to us all. Today, homes were deserted. There was scarcely a dwelling that was not a home of mourning. The angel of death had been abroad over the land. Out of the hillside, they had hewn a common grave. One mother and 81 children were to be laid to rest together. The little ones were not to rest for an hour or two and then go out to play. It was their last rest of all. As though reproaching the cruel tip that had no mercy for their tender years, they were to lie within sight of it. Wreaths and posies that came from all over the world were laid in the form of a huge cross. It seemed to say that the ways of providence are beyond the understanding of men and women. No use to ask, why are the children to die? On the threshold of life, life was taken from them. Congregational minister of Aberfan represented the free churches, the chapels of Wales. And there was the Bishop of Llandaff, and also the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Cardiff, and one who has already done so much, the Mayor of Merthyr Tydfil. It was said that 10,000 mourners were massed at the graveside. In that long line of small coffins lay a generation of Aberfan. kept wandering to that model of the school in flowers, the school in which they died. I couldn't help thinking time and again that if the slide had been an hour earlier, Abba Van would still hear the laughter of little children. It somehow seemed right that it should be so bitterly cold, for family happiness has gone from Abba Van. I prayed that the years might pass quickly until laughter and joy return to this valley of sorrow. <laughs> 